Okay, hey everybody. So um, I'm Callie Chung, and as I promised from my earlier casual Callie, um, I am going. What was that? <laughs> that was kind of scary. Um, that was actually a person walking past me. But um, this is the forest that earlier today I had to pass while going to work. But um, it's nighttime now, and if you can just imagine this going through this forest at like 11 at night, it's it's pretty scary. Um, <laughs> that's the forest behind me. Um, so yeah. So the reason why I also wanted to mention this is because um, I don't know if you guys know this, but before Japanese productions um, start filming here in Japan, like for any horror movies or any movies in general, they always get an exorcism done. Um, and that's basically, I guess, just standard procedure, but um, that's kind of <laughs> scary, you guys. That's really scary um, that with all productions, there's always an exorcism done. Um, okay, so on that note, um, it's getting kind of dark. Um, as you can kind of see, I'm losing light as I walk further down this path. Um, um, <laughs> if you guys see, oh, okay, basically after I upload this, I'm I'm probably never going to watch this video again because, you know, you hear weird things like when you do playback, you notice certain things in the background and stuff. So I'm filming right now, so all I'm focusing on is filming. But if I if I watch this again and and you guys see something that I don't see, um, I'm gonna be really freaked out. So um, <laughs> don't tell me, don't tell me if you see something um, that that I don't see. And a car is coming, a car is coming, so there's gonna be some light. Oh, there's a forest. Did you guys see all those bamboo trees? Like, it's freaking dense in there. It's, it's so, so scary. Okay, <laughs> so, um, so I'm just gonna scare myself even more. Um, scary stories. I know everyone has a scary story, and I'm gonna share with you mine. Um, all right, are you guys ready? <laughs> so, when I was 15 years old, um, no, you know what? <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> when I was in high school, um, I had an answering machine in my room and it was digital. Um, so there was no tape or anything, it was just all digital, connected to my phone. And um, during that time, I was studying for finals. And um, as I'm studying, I could hear some electrical noise like um buzzing and it sounded like voices oh wait another car passed by you guys normally like this many cars do not pass by like it's it's relatively quiet um so going back to my story so um as i would sit um at my desk studying for finals i would hear these like noises coming from the answering machine and at first I thought it was just um, interference because I lived you know I don't know it was LA I guess and I didn't think much of it but then um, as time went on the voices would get louder and I promise you I'm not just hearing these voices like it was just what is that oh. <laughs> okay all right, it was just very much, um, okay. It was basically two men's voices talking to each other um, and that kind of became apparent. And um, one night um, it just kind of hit me at a point because I really wanted to study and the interference from the answering machine um, was just getting louder and I didn't understand why there would be interference coming out from the answering machine when my when I wasn't even using the phone. So as the voices got louder and it just sounded like two men arguing, um, I just turned around in my chair and I looked at the answering machine 
and I'm like, shut. I'm like, shut up, because you know I teenager angst, you know, teenager emotions coming out, and I swear, right then and there, I heard a voice say, get the hell out. That just totally freaks me out. I ran to my brother's room and I was like, did you hear that? Did you hear that? And he's just like, huh? No, I didn't hear that. But I promise you guys, it really happened. And I ditched that answering machine after that. Um, so yeah, I'm so glad we don't have answering machines anymore, right? It's, oh my gosh, yeah. So that's pretty much my only scary story that I've ever experienced. Um, thank goodness, <laughs> because I think anything else and I would cry. I would cry. <laughs> um, but this is Japan and in case you guys are wondering, scary stuff do, scary stuff does happen. Um, and maybe in another time, when I'm walking through another scary environment, I will tell you guys that story because that happened to two, the same thing happened to two people that I know. So anyways, I'm in the clear, no more scary forest. Um, this, this part of the walkway is just kind of, I'm close, I'm close to residential. So I'm good now. Thank you so much, you guys, for being with me. <laughs> In a way, I, I used you guys so that I wouldn't be scared walking through this forest. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Casual Callie will come back next week for another casual moment. Please subscribe, like, and if you want to head on over to my Patreon page to donate, um, that would be great. Um, I'm looking into more gaming stuff. So, All right, you guys. Have a great night. I'll see you guys later. Bye.